Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario. Just showing you all today how to cross flash your custom iHas burners. This allows you to get all the nice features the higher end drives have while using your lower end drive for the same price. Now, is this really beneficial? Eh, somewhat it can be, but it's fun to have, I guess. Anyways, first back up your stuff, read over your firmware, and you need to know that only the odd number drives, starting with odd numbers, can be upgraded within each other, same with evens. So if you have a 124, you can only upgrade to a 3 and 524. If you have a 224, you can upgrade to a 4 and 624, and all those within. I'll remind you at the end of the video. Anyways, once you're done backing up your firmware that came on your drive, you have to use all this within the flash utility, but find the firmware that you are going to be upgrading to. I'm upgrading to a 524 firmware, and I picked it, and now I'm writing over the flash. So just be careful with that, and again, as I said, I'm using flash utility here. All these come with the I has. Um, Burner Max firmware, so you don't need to worry about you know googling for hours and finding this. Once that's done, you need to open up EE Prom Utility, go to Cross Flash, hit OK right there, and you need to convert your drive. Hit Convert Drive. That's all you have to do, and just wait a few seconds for that to finish up. Now, as you can see, that's done. What you need to do is you have to restart your computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so as you all can see, I'm going to show you now after our fresh restart, I come over to Properties, Hardware, and I have a 524 drive installed is what it says. To test it out to see that the firmware actually works, best thing you can do is just pop in a blank DVD. I'll wait for that to load up. But if we come over here, we can see what's going on. Go over to your flash utility. brought this up at the same time but we can come over here and it is custom firmware because it is reading the DVD as 8.13 gigabytes so it's showing up like that right there now as you can see this is showing up as the AL2A firmware we'll double check that as well and that is supposed to be AL2A so it is fine so as you can see with just a few steps we were able to cross flash this over to a 524 drive. Now the easiest way to remember this is that the odd number drives, the ones that start with odd numbers, can only be cross flashed with each other and the same with the even ones. So you cannot cross flash a 224 to a 524, it just doesn't work. The 1, 3, and 524s can be cross flashed with each other, the 2, 4, and 6, 24s can be cross flashed with each other. So that's all you have to know. Anyways, that is Mr. Mario signing off. Hopefully I helped you all out, so enjoy the extra features.